Welcome to My Circadian App. Today is October the 3rd, 2024, and our app is live in Apple and in Android. Just for this initial launch period, I'm offering, if you have an Android, three weeks with the unlimited access version. I'll explain the difference between the free access and the unlimited access in just a moment. And then if you have an Apple, you can also use that code Sarah K to get a month of the unlimited access. You'll have to make sure when you download the app that your keyboard is on alphabetical and not numerical in order to enter that code and get that access. The difference between the free version and the unlimited access version is this. So when you open the app, there is a dashboard that's going to tell you daybreak, sunrise, UVA, UVB, sunset, nightfall, all of those times. That's free. That's always there. That's always available. That is one of the reasons I created this app is I wanted just an all-in-one easy dashboard so you could understand what time of day is going to be very helpful for you to go outside. There's also a My Circadian App YouTube channel where I have created several free videos that will give you education around each of these different time periods, why it's important for you to go out at that time, how long you should try to stay out at those times. I've also created a longer video about Lux and vitamin D, which those things are also available in this app. But just for the purpose of this video, if you get the free version, you'll always have access to knowing what times of day those particular times happen for you. With the unlimited access version, you can go into a little screen and turn on notifications. You'll get a little banner that pops up as each of those frequencies of light becomes available or disappear. So when UVB is gone, it'll tell you. When UVA is gone for the day, it'll tell you. When sunset's starting, it will tell you. All of these things. And there's even a little reminder when sunset happens and nightfall happens to put on your blue blockers because those are very important in the overall grand scheme of things. So that is the primary focus of the app is to really let you know what times of day each of these frequencies of light are available. And you can watch those free videos on the My Circadian app YouTube channel to learn more about them and on our Instagram page as well. Those are also available. The Lux feature is also helpful at allowing you to understand your light environment. That's what this entire app is really for because changing my light environment has tremendously improved my health and the health of my clients over the last number of years. So I'm very passionate about teaching this. Lux in the morning, we want around 2,500 Lux or more in order to turn on parts of the brain that are responsible for metabolism, appetite control regulation, depression, anxiety. You've probably heard of a 10,000 Lux light box, right? We really only need around 2,500 most people in the morning. That's what's been studied. And on a rainy, cloudy day, we often think it's not worth going outside. We should just stay indoors. But when you measure with the Lux meter, You'll see on a rainy, cloudy day, the Lux can be here on the 33rd latitude where I live. I've seen it be up to 30,000, right? And this is a day where I'm like, oh, I really don't want to go outside, but it's, it's bright and my brain gets what it needs. There's also a lot of red and infrared light available on a rainy, cloudy day. So even though it might seem like it's better to just stay indoors and you don't really need to go out, your brain, your hormones, your mitochondria, all of these things really thrive from going outside, even if it's not ideal weather. Behind a glass, the Lux is going to be low. The maximum Lux indoors is typically around 500. Some places it can get up to 1,000. That's still not going to be enough to support your brain the way it needs to be supported, especially as we move into colder months. A lot of people suffer from seasonal depression and anxiety because they don't go outside because it's cold, it's gross, but they don't want to. So this Lux meter is going to give you that motivation to say, all right, I'm going to go outside. With the free version of the app, you'll get one use of the Lux meter per day. With the unlimited, you can use it as many times as you want. The other thing that's important to know about Lux is in the evening, the three hours leading up to bedtime, we want our Lux to be at a 10 or below in order for our bodies to make pineal melatonin, which is crucial for healing, repair, regeneration, cell turnover, all of these things that we talk about in the biohacking world, autophagy, apoptosis got to have enough dimness. So 10 and below is what you want the three hours leading up to bed to be. And then you want your sleeping environment to be even lower than that in order for you to get optimal melatonin release in your sleep. A lot of people don't realize that, yes, it's about blocking the blue and green light. So blue blockers are very important after sunset, but you also need a certain amount of dim light dimness. 10 and below is what's important for your body the three hours leading up to bedtime. 
So again, this Lux meter is not going to be as accurate as a meter that you can spend money on and take it out and use, but it's a good gauge of what is going on in my environment. For instance, the other night I decided I wanted to watch a little TV. It's not something I do often, but I took my Lux meter out. I put my blue blockers over the camera lens and measured, and it was only seven Lux. So I was able to watch a little TV and not feel so guilty about it. So it's a, it's a really great way. But guess what? When I took the blue blockers off of the phone, not only was I letting in the blue and green light, which disrupt melatonin production, but I was also having a Lux of 26. Doesn't sound very high, but it's high enough to disrupt this process in the evening. So again, Lux meter is just to help you sense and understand your environment so that you can fix it to have optimal uh, metabolism, sleep, hormones, and avoid depression and anxiety, especially as we head into winter. The other features I want to talk about are going to be the D timer. Now we have no accurate way. There might be other apps that say they can tell you how much vitamin D your body is actually making in response to sunlight. This is not accurate. Things like infections, your body weight, other things that you might have going on in your body can disrupt this process. And vitamin D might be being used, it's actually a hormone, might be being used in other parts of your body to clean things up, to optimize your whole body function. And so you can't really use an app to tell you how much vitamin D your body is making. The purpose of this timer within the app is really to help you gauge the appropriate amount of time for you to be outside in the stronger frequency of light in UVB, which is where we do synthesize vitamin D. And so this again is not medical advice. Nothing in this app is medical advice or substitute for working one-on-one -on -one with a practitioner or meant to override your own intuition, but based on the UV index, your Fitzpatrick skin type, cloud cover, and how much you're wearing, what kind of clothing you're wearing, the app has an algorithm to say, hey, it's time to either turn over or go inside so that you can avoid the risk of overexposure. So that's what that is there for, is it helps you to have a healthy relationship with the stronger UV and not to overexpose your skin while you're still able to synthesize vitamin D. A lot of people have asked, are we going to have a way for you to log other sessions that you might do? Well, there's not really a point in logging sessions. The timer is there to help you gauge time in the sun, not to help you calculate how much vitamin D your body is making at a particular time. I'll have more education and resources on this topic coming soon, I promise. But just for now, that's all you need to know. The other features that we have, again, are a moon tracker and then a compass. You'll have one use of those per day. In the morning, you want to face east. In the evening, you want to face west. These are going to be the way that the sun is and help you optimize your signaling. It's not crucial. If you are in an apartment building and you can't get out and face the other way, you're still going to get a very good light signal. But if you want to optimize this, the compass will help you to do that. And it's just a, another way that you can kind of set up your life to optimize your light environment. Moon tracker is helpful because it can also help you to gauge your energy levels. And some women like to shift their activity levels and even their diet around moon cycles. So it's just a fun little feature that you can also use there. But that is the My Circadian app. This is our first release. I'm sure that we will add more features as time goes along. Even with the free version, you're going to get quite a lot of information. You still get one use of that D timer per day and one use of Lux, one use of the compass, one use of the moon tracker per day. With the unlimited version, you can use that code Sarah K. Again, remember to have your phone set on alphabet and not numerical to enter that code. Once you download the app, get three free weeks of that unlimited on Android and one free month on Apple. I'm so excited for you to try this app. It is, again, not medical advice or substitute for working one-on-one -on -one with someone, but it's really helping to allow you to be strategic with the way that your body experiences light and the way that you set up your life. Enjoy.